moms, welcome back to my channel, Home and Arrows. My name is Shirley and I'm a homeschooling mom to five kids that I like to call my arrows. And here on my channel, I am deeply passionate about encouraging moms to cheerfully embrace the very short season of time that they have their arrows at home with them. And today, I know that I gave a post on Instagram, but not everybody follows me there. And in case you're wondering what my handle is, it's Home and Arrows. I realized that I stepped away from YouTube and talked about that a little bit on Instagram, but I did didn't talk about it here on my channel. So today, I just wanna give you guys a quick little update and I wanted to show you something that I call my mom basket, which is actually an idea that I got from Kristen over at Life More Abundant. I'm almost positive that's the name. If it's not, I will make sure that I put it right here, what her channel name is. But this was an upload that I had wanted to do a couple months back when she gave me the idea for it and just never got around to it. And it kind of goes hand in hand with the update that I'm gonna share today. So stick around if knowing what's in that basket might be of any interest to you. All right, so I'm going to start with a quick little update and I've had so many amazingly sweet and kind and encouraging comments, especially over on my Instagram when I posted that I was going to be taking a break from YouTube for a while. And I really don't wanna get into the whys too much about why I'm kind of stepping away, but, but what I will say is that about two months ago, I entered what I knew was going to be a pretty difficult and rough season for me, like everything else in my life, homeschooling, my kids, um, ministry, I always hold everything that the Lord places in my hands very loosely. And about two months ago, I felt him saying um, that he wanted me to lay down the channel. And so I just really knew that I needed to enter a season where I already have like a lot of demands on my life just by having five kids and homeschooling. And I just really felt like I needed to remove anything extra that might be a stressor in my life. And I just needed to rest in the Lord as much as I could. And not that YouTube is a stressor, but it is a big responsibility and took up about seven to eight hours of every week. So I obeyed the Lord in that and laid it down and it has been the right thing, even though I've greatly missed it. But God is always so good to every once in a while say, you know what, Shirley, I know that this is something you love doing and look, today I've carved out some time for you. I've given you a topic and, I, and an idea to talk about. So go for it, put something out there. And so that's what I'm doing today. So like I said, about two months ago, I entered a season and I don't know you guys how long it's gonna last, but I'm hoping that sprinkled throughout this season, the Lord opens doors and gives me the opportunity to every once in a while jump on my channel, which is something I love doing and that he will continue to use me even though I'm in a hard season that he will use me to continue to encourage others. And um, I know that's kind of vague, Sorry, but that's just kind of how it is right now. But I wanna tie that in with something that has been a big blessing to me in this season, and that is my mom basket. Right before I entered this season, I saw my friend on Instagram, Kristen, and she lives in Virginia, just like me. We've talked about doing collaborations together. It just hasn't worked out, but um, she did like a mom basket. If you're a homeschooling mom, you know that there's this thing called a morning basket that you bring out and you've got books and activities, whatever. Everyone's homeschool basket is different and looks different. But she had a twist on that and it was having a mom basket and I love, love, loved it. So today I wanna share with you something that I've had for the last couple months that has been such a huge blessing to me in this kind of tough season, and that is my mom basket. And I just wanted to pull it out and show you guys what I keep in here, what it is, and why it's such a blessing to me. Um, I don't know if I need to like hold this up so y'all can see, but um, I'll hold it up right now. The first thing I'll tell you about is the actual basket itself. It's super cute, I think at least. It's got like the black and white buffalo plaid. I wanted my basket to be something that I liked looking at. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was maybe $9.99 and um, probably like 50% off like Hobby Lobby loves to do. It's bendable and I keep it on the couch on my first floor. 
so that whenever I wake up in the morning or it's later in the evening and I wanna have my quiet time with God, I pull out my mom basket and instead of having to go through the house and gather all the things, all my pens, all my highlighters, the books, my Bibles, my journals, it's just kind of all already right here. I just grab my mom basket and I'm ready to go with my quiet time. So I wanna show you real quickly the things that I keep in here. The very first thing, um, I'll start with the little stuff. I like to keep my favorite colorful pens and my favorite pens are Papermate flare pens. I just love to write in my journal and I love to write in my prayer journal in different colors. I just think it makes it pretty and cute. I don't know. They're just my favorite pens. I really love them. The other thing I keep down in here are my gel Bible highlighters. These are called high gliders. I love to highlight in my Bible with different colors. I just, if I have a bunch of verses in a row that I like, I try to just highlight them all separately so they each stand out differently to me. And these Bible high gliders really don't bleed through the pages. So when you turn your Bible page, you can't really see, I mean, faintly you can, but out of all the things I've ever used, these are the best and by far my favorite. Another thing that I keep in my mom basket are some index cards like this. And I just got this like at Office Depot. And what I have in here are just some Bible verses that I've been trying to get back into Bible memory, memorizing scripture, which was something that I was really good at doing and loved doing, especially when I was a kid and a teenager. And it's something that um, I wanted to just recently get back into. So I'll put like the passage reference on the back of the index card and I'll write the verse on the front and then I'll like see if I can memorize it and memorize what the reference is. Uh, Psalm 119 11 says, your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against God. And so I've always felt that memorizing scripture, that hiding it in our hearts was a very important and valuable thing to do. And so just in an effort to try and get back into that, I keep my little memory scripture thingy in my mom basket. See, here's the thing, in my mom basket, I like for my quiet time to be diverse. It doesn't necessarily look the same for me every day. And I just, I really like that. Um, some days maybe I'll write in a journal. Some days maybe I'll just only read my Bible. Some days maybe I'll just focus on scripture memory. Some days I might just, um, just work on a Bible study. So a couple things that I keep in my mom basket also are some various Bible studies. This one, well, both of these are from a company called Daily Grace Company. And y'all, they're great. If you've never checked out their materials, go check them out. They always have these really great sales, like $5 sales, $10 sales, and I'll stock up on their devotional books and their studies when those sales happen. So right here I have His Love Never Fails. It's a study on the book of Hosea. And then I've also got a study of Psalm 23. And um, the pictures in these books are just beautiful, all scattered throughout. I just love the layout of their Bible studies and you can see through here, um, I don't know. I just think they're really pretty too and I, and I love that about their, their studies. They're affordable, enriching, and pretty. What else do I have in here? I also have a stack of cards, these also come from Daily Grace Company. These are called Prayers for My Children and I think I got them for like $5 when they were on sale. And every now and again, I'll just go through these cards and they just spur ideas of different things that I can and should pray for for my kids. Like for example, I'll pull a card that says, pray that your children will serve the Lord with their lives and then um, pray that they will make an impact for the kingdom of God. And then it gives a couple Bible verses down here. I just love that I can pray for my children and if I feel like I'm stuck or in a rut or don't know what to pray, I can just come pick a card and it says, pray for your child's future spouse. And it gives you like a little prayer idea and then it gives you a passage of scripture. Or pray that your children would love the Lord. Pray that your children would grow up to be people of wisdom and integrity. I just use these as, as little things to give me ideas of the different things that I should be praying for my kids for. In my mom basket, I also have 100 pass along Bible promises, prayers to share. This is by, I guess, Shanna Noel. And my pastor's wife, who is also one of my dearest friends, um, she gave this to me, I think it was for my birthday. And guys, I love this so much. 
So the premise behind this is there are these little like pass along Bible promises. The point is, is that you find a Bible promise, like let's just pick this one. You've got so many possibilities. I asked God to help you pick the very best ones. I'm sure his guidance is on the way soon. And then it gives the passage of scripture. And then on the back, it has room for you to be able to write like an encouraging message. I love to use these for my kids. My daughters recently were both going through a little something and I looked through here. I found a passage of scripture that pertained to the situation that they were in. I wrote them each a little like personal note on the back and um, I can leave it like on their pillow or I can tape it to their bathroom mirror. And I don't know, I just think that there's something special for them to find a note from mom and for them to know that mom is praying for them. So I keep these in here in case I'm inspired to encourage someone else. Um, I've also got this cute little book. It's called One Line a Day, a five-year memory book. And this is kind of random, but really, really neat. And I kind of fell off the wagon using it, but um, that's okay. I can jump back on whenever I'm ready. But what this does is it has pages like this, and clearly I'm only on the first year because I just got this, um, I think in January. And so let me show you kind of some blank future. Let's see here. Um, so it'll give you a date, and every night before you go to bed, you just write like one little line about your day, and then the next year you write one little line about your day, and you can look back and see exactly the year before kind of what happened to you on that day last year and you can keep literally a five-year daily log of your life i just feel like this is something really fun to do that maybe my kids could look back on one day and see what my life was like in this season of raising a lot of kids um it's just writing one quick little line a day and you can see i was like doing really really good here at the beginning of the year writing in it every night before I went to bed. So it's something that I wanna pick up um, and do again, because I love the concept and the idea behind it. And I think my battery's about to die, so I better hurry. In my mom basket, I also love to keep whatever book that I am currently reading. And right now in this season, it's very fitting. I'm reading a book by Lisa Turkers called It's Not Supposed to Be This Way. And if life has thrown you a curveball, or if you're walking through something difficult and you don't understand why, Oh my goodness, you guys, I wanna encourage you. This book has been like a good friend to me that has understood what I'm feeling and has put into words what I'm feeling and has just been a real encouragement to me. So I like to keep whatever book I'm currently reading in my mom basket. Um, clearly, I like to keep my Bible in my mom basket. And I also like to keep this little book of sermon notes. And so when I go to church on Sundays, I just snag my Bible out of my mom basket. I snag my little sermon notes book. And um, throughout the week, if I ever wanna go back and look at some notes from a particular sermon, then I can go do that and I can refresh and restudy the message. I wanna show you a blank page, what it looks like on the inside. You can write the date, like the sermon title, the scripture reference for that message and um, just notes on the sermon, and there's a spot for prayer requests. Oh, there's also a spot for takeaway this week I will focus on. So it's been really neat to have this every Sunday. And the final thing in my mom basket is a prayer journal. It's called Prayer Journal for Women, 52 Week Scripture Devotional and Guided Prayer Journal. I'll open it up to show you a blank page of what it looks like. So you use this on a weekly basis, not a daily basis. You write week of and you say like, God, this is what I want you to teach me this week. This is where I want you to guide me. These are the highlights of my week. There's a spot for prayer requests and things that are on my heart. And every week there is a passage of scripture. Well, this is technically how a week page begins. It begins with like a passage here and then you read that passage and you can reflect on it and it gives you like a quick little devotional. And then this is like, for the rest of your week, you can come back and fill in any of these spaces that you want. So you guys, um, this was such just a quick little jump on here to get back with you and to not leave you guys hanging. I'm praying that continuing on my channel, even if it's just sporadically, is something that the Lord opens the doors for me to do because it's truly something that I love. Thanks for coming back and watching and I hope you all have an amazing week. And if you don't have a mom basket, I wanna encourage you 
get something that you can keep all of your devotional and quiet time things in. I promise it will be so much easier to have it all in one place than having to go look around the house and gather all of your things to have your quiet time. It will hopefully make having your quiet time a little easier for you. All right, moms, until next time, bye.